Next up, welcome to Hogsmeade. This is a main quest, level 2 required and repairer, which you'll get from a previous task, and our rewards are the Ancient Magic Throw and Ancient Magic. So, I'll locate it on the map, and we'll head across to the far right side over here. For this, there is a teleport spot right next to it, the library, but I don't have it, so I'll need to run across there. Now that we've found Sebastian, or whoever you chose to take with you, we'll talk to them and it'll start the mission. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavour to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Our first view outside into the main Hogwarts courtyard. Now to travel even further, this one's a long jog and you will need to stick with your classmate in order to get there together. So prepare yourself for a bit of a walking quest. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, over here is the first stop, off to these bushes where we can collect our first ingredients for crafting potions and things later on. Run up to these bushes and hit F to collect some. These are lacewing flies. And back in our way. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest, look! What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You see You'll also find toadstools on your way as well. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah! You can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself. These up here, you can use Accio on to get. You'll see lots of these around the place, and they'll come in handy later on when you're messing around in your room or house. This is much further though. Don't worry about items and inventory space, these don't seem to take anything away. You can carry as many as you'd like. As much as you want to go over there and investigate those cute 
creatures, it'll be out of bounds and you'll have to come back later on. For now, we need to follow and stick somewhat close. This mission is on rails. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. Mm. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you! A Demi guys? I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. This is our first view of Hogsmeade. So how would you like to do this? Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. There we go. We can open the map. And we'll look around at these shops traveling to where we need. So, for this one, we need to head across to these four shops here. Tomes and Scrolls, Ollivander's, J. Pippin's Potions, and over here to the Magic Neep. These are all the ones on the southwest side. We'll start at the bottom with Tomes and Scrolls. Into Tomes and Scrolls. We'll need to talk to the shopkeeper here, but we can of course investigate around a little bit. If I use the book here, it'll pop out a staircase. And we can travel upstairs to loot a box in the far corner here. 60 gold. Nice. Revelio. There's a page in the back room as well. Or outside. I'll look at this chest here. And this other chest we don't know how to open quite just yet. So I'll leave it. Good morning, Thomas. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, Let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? For this, we need to buy these two top bits up here. They're both free. Simply hold the button to purchase them. With these two, we can leave the shop and go to the next one. I'll head outside. And the next shop to go to is Ollivander's. We'll get our wand here. Into Ollivander's. There's a chest near the entrance. And I don't think anything around back. No. Now we can customize a wand. Just make sure you change between the tabs at the very top. I'll take maybe this one, a brown, 
can't add leaves, so I'll do whatever here. I don't think it really matters what you do. And I'll make it out of maybe pine. Perfect. On the final tab, we can change the wand core. This as well, I think, has some kind of effect, but you'll basically see. Dragon's Heartstring is for powerful magic, Unicorn Hair is for consistent magic, and the Phoenix Feather is for a great range of magic. I'll make it powerful. Purchase. Perfect. There we go. Let's head across to Pippin's Potions, the next one up. So map, we'll mark Pippin's Potions, over to the west here, and we'll head across there. There are a few floating pages around the place to collect. They're not too important to collect now, as you'll often come back here. Though, if you see them, do grab them. Welcome to there's a chest here, to the right, and Revelio. I don't think there's anything else in here. No. What can I do for you today? Now we need to purchase these two at the top once again. They're free for us. Perfect. Feel Goodbye, Pippin. Look at the rest of my inventory. Next up, come back another time if you're in Magic Neep. Over on the far west here. I'll mark it and travel across there. Hello, Hello Neep. There's a field guide page here. And that's pretty much it. Let me guess. You're after something there we go. Supplies, Dittany seeds are free. We'll purchase these. And with that, we're now pretty much done in Hogsmeade. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. What we'll need to do here is head back to Sebastian, or whoever we came here with, near the center of Hogsmeade. This is where some exciting things happen. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Here comes the first real dangerous fight of Hogwarts Legacy. So much for drawing it away from the buildings, it just completely destroyed that one. Here we learn we can press control to dodge on PC, obviously it'll be a different button on consoles. Whenever the sign is red like that, we're not able to block it, instead we just have to roll out of the way to miss the attack. Obviously using these spells don't really have an effect on such a big creature. We can also do normal dodges for these instead of using our protection spell. But it's really just up to you what you choose to do. If we block attacks that we can block, oftentimes you'll stun them and be able to do a little bit more damage.
In this case, we're not stunning it by doing the correct blocks. Maybe that one would have. Nope, unfortunately not. If we hit Z, we can throw items around. That does stun them, and it does quite a bit of damage. Now we invoke ancient magic and do things not seen before. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Let's put things back together. Perfect. The last bit are these boxes over here. Now we just need to speak to a shopkeeper. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Plenty for your perusal today. I'll purchase the robe up here. and equip it in our gear screen. We've got a few things to equip and you'll know whatever's new because of this little icon right below it. We have to start with cloaks and I'll equip the one that has the highest offense or perks in general. You'll see later on these have enchantments. I'll close the menu, skip through that cutscene, pick up the scroll here, and on top of this, I'll open up my inventory on the gear tab I'll go through the rest of these and equip whatever I have available. Some of these give us perks, other ones, like these starter ones, have almost no effect. They're just cosmetic. Just a quick note. On the challenges screen up here, quests, we can claim whatever ones we finished, and for that we usually get rewards. We'll follow Sebastian to the three broomsticks. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Inside of here, there is a chest at the very top that we can try and open. And a sack, yeah. We can weld. And on this side, a chest. Sweet. There's even more upstairs here, further on. But this is locked, and we'll need to get a lockpicking skill before we can get in there. Finding our way back downstairs. Outside the three broomsticks, here we'll need to talk to Sebastian. Now we'll need to return to the common room. So I'll open the map and we'll need to fast travel to Hogwarts here. So to this flag or whatever flag is bouncing for you and to the flu flame near the common room for your house. And there we go, the quest is now complete. So, thank you all for watching, my name is me Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!